Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkie. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Mm. He's got the yips, apparently. What's up? And today... We're going to tell you... About a couple whiskeys. A lot of them. Ten. That are $100 or more and worth the price. To us. And maybe to you. you. To you. Just go with it. Okay. Intro. Do you wish that you had a sweet way to carry whiskey? Because these are about to re-release. <laughs> oh, I was like, where are we going with this? And I put oh. all my bottles. There's $500 in whiskey in this bag. I thought it was gone too. I just stored them in here as a secret. Could so. you just do me a favor? Like, nope. scoot it for just a little bit. Thank you. We were just off camera talking about Sean's control issues. Yep. You got to see them <laughs> in person. All right, bottle number one. We each got five. These are bottles of whiskey that are all over $100, relatively findable and we think that are worth their value. Yeah, um, a, a couple of these that are on my list, I just recently saw in a couple stores, not really trying or hunting. Um, they're just there, so take it or leave it. It was available to us in BFE, Michigan. Number one for me. What'd you go with? Blackwood. Oh. And do you wanna know why I went with Blackwood? This is batch one, by the way. Because it's toasted cast drink. It's toasted cast drink, Kentucky bourbon. But you and I had um, batch two recently. Yep. And batch two is awesome. It's a hitter. And the Blackwood rye is really great. I forgot about that. That's a good pick. So this is batch one. But if you see batch two, which you can find, I believe Justin's has it. Bourbon Outfitters might yeah. have it. Batch if anyone two was gonna have it, of Blackwood that. bourbon and the Blackwood rye is so good. I'm gonna go a little bit different. Oh, you're just gonna set it there, huh? Um, I'll probably get the most hate for this bottle on my list, so I'll just get it out of the way now. Uh, M10 Rye. Dan just had this, oh, I almost dropped it. Uh, blind um, on Matt Madness Finals. Said it was amazing. It's so good. Man, I can smell it from here. It is amazing. Now, so if good. you are in around the area of Mixers, you can go there. Yeah. And then it, it's usually out pretty regularly. You can pick up a bottle. If you're in Kentucky, if you're near Whiskey Row for a week, there is a very high probability you can get one of these at Mixers on Whiskey Row. You could like just for real. Set it in the corner like that. That's and true. Room for two. And for this sure. is even a wide shoulder gal. Yeah. Um, this is. Kentucky rye done super well. Good age statement, 10 years. Yeah. Um, it's not super proofy, but there's a lot going on. I it's love this It's not super proofy, but I think that that, we talk about it from time to time, that's one of the nine under hundos that's like flavorful as hell. Yeah. For real. I mean, it's, it's so only 92.8 proof, but yeah. amazing. I thought that was 90.4 and I don't know why. Because of Woodford. All right, real quick before we move on, let's talk about the sponsor of today's video. Yup. Little into the AM action. You literally already knew who our favorite clothing manufacturer Hands supplier down. was. And good news, they've got some new items up for sale um, that were, well, I'm currently rocking one of the new designs. A little, probably just yelled at the mic, don't worry about that. A little pocket hit. I like Full that logo one. back. I love this. This is like yep. um, vintage, Beach like vibes. Serp. Yeah. Beach vibes. I love this shirt. And Beach then uh, they just launched some new shorts. Yep. The Summer old, shorts. Oh, dude. So like the other ones are like, sweatpants like the the lounge one yeah super comfy yeah I a little love those. warm though these are more like the workout like the little bit like softer poly blend. you can do every activity in those shorts and yeah when i say everyone i mean everyone they, they stretchy they move i love these things they're my new favorite shorts that i own yeah. right now they're restocking some of the 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 quarter uh polos that they got we didn't get any because they're sold out right now they'll come <laughs> back and they've got a fourth of july sale going yeah. on Hit up the 4th of July sale from June 29th to July 4th. Get you another 20% off. Literally already, honestly, like best value clothes. If you yeah. are a value person, into the am.com slash bourbon junkies will get you a great value on your shirts and yes. your shorts and everything else under the sun that you want to put on top of your body. Yeah. Um, Check out the underwear. Also very great. For real, like my favorite thing is this shirt is like two and a half years old. Still, Still it, wear it Listen, she's... She's just starting to pill finally after two and a half years, and this shirt was probably ten to fifteen dollars, honestly. Yeah, they're uh, like the best value ever, for real. Go pick them up. Check out the sale. Twenty percent off is awesome. Thank you, Indiana, for working with the channel. We love you. Let's get back to some whiskey. All right, bottle number dose two. What you going with? Wild Turkey Twelve Year, and I'm going to tell you why it's over a hundred dollars. Cause neat, they're one hundred and fifty, and you can buy them. Yep. Boom. All right. I, there was a lot of thoughts going on in my head, both, man, I wish I would have picked that, and B, How? wait, that's not 100. Yeah. But C, yeah, it kind of is. You can, the findability on this, we were at Neat recently. They still had them. They're $150, and yep. I 
would argue that this bottle of whiskey is worth 150 bucks. Um, my number two bottle is uh, a little Joseph Magnus Murray Hill. So this is the special release. Um, Dan's favorite is the cigar blend. Mm -hmm. I like this. Cigar blend's way harder to find. Yeah, I've, I've seen a couple of bottles of this sitting around very recently. Um, I think it's around that 160, 170 mark. I'm not 100% sure. Um, yeah, it's probably somewhere in there. But delicious. It's a little bit different from their profile, amazing. but it is phenomenal. We j I just opened it and smelled it. it. was like, oh my gosh, I forgot how good that smells. This is this is 56 ABV. Did I say Wild Turkey 12 here? This is Wild Turkey 12 here, just in case so we I don't get yelled at that I didn't say. Man, um, Sean's Murray Hill Club Special Release is 56 point nothing ABV. 112. And it's blended bourbon whiskey fish and Pinot de Charentaise cask. I'm sure you. And I think these. That right. I think the finishing changes on those as well. I Pinot de Charentaise. I think I'm they sure put different. Is. I don't know, dude. Peanuts. PDC. Circus peanuts. PDC. All right. But kind of last delicious. Bottle number three. Let me go first. F your mouth. Go. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? <laughs> dude, especially when I'm down here. All right. Uh, my bottle number three. Yeah. I, this is my most expensive bottle. No. Yeah, no. It is. Yeah, it is. Mm, no, it's, it's not. This is gonna be my second most expensive bottle. We get yeah. it a little bit more expensive. Um, four gate. This is the Kelvin uh, c collab batch five. Yeah. The Kelvins have been some of my favorite releases that they've done. Yeah. Batch five is exceptional. All the Kelvins are good. A lot of the Kelvins are just banger after yeah, banger. Bang. So the Kelvins especially are some of my favorite. But four gate products as a whole, pretty expensive. But two hundred bucks, amazing. Honestly, except for the Ambarana. The no, no, no. The Ambarana is actually one of the most balanced Ambaranas on market. I, yeah, I will stand by that. But Fourgate puts out obviously premium brand in a premium price range, all around two hundred to two fifty range for the yeah. most part. Sometimes one eighty. But you're getting harder to fantastic. source whiskey, usually with a finish or like crazy barreling cool or Cooperage. something. Like there's yeah. something cool going on with every bottle. The Cooperage in Fourgate, like that's what pushes for you apart from other premiums. Yeah. Like it's not just an age stated whiskey thing. And they're often they're not age stated, but they all have great ages of whiskey in them. Yes. But what makes them stand apart is like the Cooperage. They have that relationship with the Cooperage nobody else seems to have. Yeah, Calvin's it's wild. like, what do you want to do? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. This one's gonna surprise you. Our review is Monday. $125, <laughs> pretty findable anywhere near Utah. Yeah, you just have to be in that state that no one lives in. Um, Somebody lives there, Park City's got people. Um, Here's yeah, the thing, visit. <laughs> it's so worth 100. This that will one. go down, this one, the new, the new, this is 23. Two years ago though. They were 80 two years ago, so they were still worth they it. They still weren't over They were worth 80. Okay. But they weren't as good as this one. Yeah. Now here's the thing. This is so worth, this will go down as one of the actual worth $125 bottles this year. Like yeah. without a doubt. It's fantastic. Fantastic whiskey. Even knock it. Everything in the bottles over 10 years old. 10 is the minimum of, and it says it on their website too. This is fantastic whiskey. This is the best bar maybe they've ever released. Yeah. Definitely released in the last seven, eight years. This Very is the good. best one. I can't knock it. Um, it's in. just in the label, honestly, is the best High West label maybe ever. The redesign on that label is by far the best yeah. they've done. If they should Hands just down. do this on all of their label, like this hand-drawn art style is yeah. phenomenal. Bring back finished fries though. is what that is. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. I got two left. Hopefully you do too. I got six, so <laughs> we're gonna be here. Um, so this one, I'm gonna go Woodford Reserve Batch Proof. Those, as like, it, I know it's in the, the, the Master's Collection bottle, it's not technically a Master's Collection, but they do it every year. Ah, every year, too. amazing. We haven't got to try this year's release yet. We haven't seen it anywhere around yeah. us yet. Hopefully, I've been seeing people post it on Costco's recently. So hopefully our Costco gets one. Our Costco get usually it. gets the yeah. batch proofs. The batch proofs, I think, are one of the best products that Woodford puts out every year. We put them in the end of the year blinds every year now. Yeah. Like they're, they're, they're just fantastic. These have replaced ECBPs in my brain. 100%. And they're more expensive. They are. But honestly, I think they're significantly and they're ACBD's younger and they're better closer too yeah, and easy yeah, younger <laughs> too <Yeah>. so <laughs> dude if there were a graph we we're starting to cross streams at some point yeah they're, right. they're getting there my next one disco 10 <sighs> 140 bardstown bourbon code discovery 10 and i have a very specific reason for this being on this list the showcase of blending yep okay it is the most impressive blend i think ever um from bardstown yes okay um i Listen, Dan Calloway obviously mm. is a good blender. Like mm -hmm. I think everybody already thought this, 
I think yes. that this is one of the most impressive blends I've ever drank, period. With, especially with knowing there are five different whiskeys in here and being able to be like, oh my gosh, like that flavor. Now we've had a different experience where we've done the deconstruction with some of these yeah. from nine. Yep. But when you taste those whiskeys and then you taste this blend, you're like, oh my gosh, like that note is from that whiskey and then that note has to be from that. You start placing stuff. Super Wild. incredible. Well done. Honestly, like one of the best blends I've ever had in my life. Not my favorite whiskey I've ever had in my life. I just think it's impressive as hell. Yeah. So it's 140. And this go 10 is probably super findable around the distillery too, I bet. So yeah, this will be findable are. everywhere at some point. I mean, for the most part, but. All right, my last one. Oh, I think we're gonna mirror on this we'll one. Let's pull them out. Do, we'll just show you, we'll just, you show me Would yours, you I'll show you mine. Oh, I should have known. Is that the Flaming Heart? Yeah. Uh, I went with Octomore. Um, this is one of my favorite scotches, hands down, ever. Like from a shelf bottle. Yeah. There are a lot of like the one-off scotch malt bottles sure. that I love. Yeah, yeah. But they're one-off. Yeah. I don't get another one of those. Yeah. I can get something like it, is whereas like Octomore is consistently good, yeah. consistently that nice, meaty, peaty profile yeah. that I just love. They're, you know, a little bit different. The the Masterclass, like the eight series. Those are wild. Those ones are Those wild. Those are off the wall. And yeah, they're gone but forever. They're, but they're, they're on like 13 point 13 whatever now. change, yeah. Consistently good though. Fantastic. Octomore was the first peated whiskey I ever liked, yeah. period. And I don't remember what, it was a seven something. Man, I would have bet money you had an Ardbeg. Yeah, so Ardbeg's just been letting me down lately. Uh, so anyways, that being said, the Compass Box, this is the 2022 Flaming Heart. Um, Compass Box Flaming Hearts, this Flaming Heart specifically, is one of my favorite pita whiskeys I've ever had okay. now. This is really cool how they do it. They do oak, so they tell you um, the what oak cask it's okay. in. Then they tell you where the smoke comes from, so Lafroy, Tausker, Kalila. Really? And then they tell you the encores, which means part of this blend is their old releases. Oh. So the Nectar 15th anniversary is in here. Peat Monster Arcania is in here, which, which is probably one of your favorites. Literally ever. one of the greatest pita whiskeys of all time. And then Flaming Heart 2018 is in here. And this is 2022. Like, how yeah. wild is that? Maybe it was Arcania that had Lottie. I thought one of them had, had Lottie, Lottie in it. In it. And I, I was like, oh, they just blended Octomore yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, like this this release, 2022, it's is phenomenal. absolutely phenomenal. And uh, I'm just madly in love with it. So, Pete Monster Arcania, I think, is genuinely one of my favorite. And I'll see if it mixes with, with um, a little remnants of M10 Rye. It can't be which, worse. Which, I tell you what, blind, would I would definitely think is a Burr Rye. M10 rye? Yeah. It's the most bourbon rye of all time. Yeah. It's so like that last little bit I had, yeah. I was like, that's a bourbon rye. Yeah. Needless to say, say, those are our 10 whiskeys that we think are all worth their value that all cost over $100. And I think these are all like a little bit different than stuff that we put on the list before. Yeah. Um, I would have to say like maybe one or two might have made it on some of my sure. the list in the past. Honestly, not many Probably of these have this made it one. on a list. Um, the Turkey 12's made it on a list. Um, that out, four gates in general have made lists before yeah. for us, but other than that, for the most part. And I, I think these are somewhat findable. This is usually everywhere. If you're into peated scotch, you probably already know about Octomore, but that's the best part about so scotch. Good. If you're, this is what people are missing from bourbon. If you're into bourbon, you're so either exhausted of hunting or you love hunting, but you're like, it's a carrot on a stick, but there's not even a carrot anymore. It's just a stick. So it's just cocaine. On it's, <laughs> so the problem is it's so hard to find everything now and everything's mm -hmm. getting marked up and all the normal bourbons are getting marked up to scotch now. Yeah. And so you might, you if you scotch are is looking scotch, a little bit more tempting. These $200 bottles of scotch actually aren't as bad now because I can just go get Elmer's two to $400. I can have these mm -hmm. instead. These are better than Elmer. And oh, it's, God. it's like, but if you don't like these, you don't like them. But if you like them, these are findable. Yep and generally not marked up, so. Anyways, we're the Bourbon Junkies, that's our list. Cheers. Like, comment, subscribe, see you never. <laughs>